Since the debut of the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo has released 15 Mario games, and today I'm on a mission to find and collect all 15. The only catch is I only have 500 bucks to do it, starting in this game exchange. All right, folks, here is our first Switch section of the day. Mario, Mario. Ooh, there's our first one. Mario Party Superstars, folks. Of the two Mario Party games on the Switch, this one is definitely my favorite. The only problem is it's a little expensive. 50 bucks is probably about what I could get this game for new at Walmart. And if I want to be able to buy 15 Mario games today, I have to get them for an average of 33 bucks a piece. So budget-wise, this is not the best start, but given that the multiplayer mode of this game is the single quickest way to start hating your family, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger and also I don't know if I'm gonna see this game again today. Ooh, but the good news is it looks like they have one more Mario title here in this fairly sparse Switch section. And you guys know I am no huge fan of the Rabbids. I honestly think they look kind of possessed. But at 28 bucks it's actually under budget which will help us a lot later so I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and do it. Folks, starting off the day, crossing two games off the list. What a confidence boost. But you may be asking, Caleb, what's the deal with this strict $500 budget that we're working with? And the answer is, when I had the idea for this Mario video, I thought it'd be really cool to give away everything that I buy to subscribers. So I reached out to this video sponsor, Whatnot, and was like, would you be able to front like 250 bucks for Switch game giveaways for my next stream? And they were like, we'll do you one better. 500 bucks. And I was like, do me one better a thousand bucks. And they were like, dude, it's it's 500. And I was like, okay. And even more good news, because game exchanges prices are always changing, both of these ended up actually being a little overpriced relative to what the system had. And Mario Party Superstars had come down $15, which means that going into our next stop half price books, we still have 440 bucks in the budget. All right, folks, coming into the video game section over here. Okay, we got cartridge stuff. Actually, that's pretty cool to see. There's a Mario game, but fortunately, we're only looking for Switch stuff today. These glass cases are where they normally keep, like, the more expensive ones. Although, I have to say, I'm not really seeing any Switch. Okay, I guess there's one Switch game, New Pokemon Snap for 25. I have to be honest, I don't think they have any other Switch games in this whole store. Which, honestly, I really shouldn't be surprised. It's tax return season, so a lot of these cheaper places are going to be cleaned out. But, folks, we're on a budget today, so that's not going to stop me from trying. And by the way, what an absolutely gorgeous day it is to be game hunting right now. Going into our second game exchange of the day right here, and this one is known for having a great Switch section, so I'm optimistic. I'm allergic to fruit. Oh, folks, this is what I'm talking about right here. Look at this Switch section. This is crazy. Buck Hunter, Fast and Furious. Nothing super interesting here. Ours. Shoot, did we miss? Oh, look at this. So here we have an interesting quandary, folks. Because you guys know, normally I try to look only for complete games. Like, full stop. All the Switch games I like to be complete. However, it looks like they've got a ton of Mario games here that are incomplete. Look at that. 28 bucks for Mario Tennis Aces. Ooh, Mario and Sonic is another one that, okay, at 50 bucks, that's not the best. Ultimately, I think that because most of you guys are collectors as well, a lot of you would probably rather I look for complete games specifically. Looks like they do have <laughs> plenty more copies of Sparks of Hope. Oh, dang, this Mario and Rabbids has a replacement artwork. For now, I'm going to hold off on buying anything incomplete later on in the day. Maybe I'll get a little bit less picky. Oh, but folks, what do I spy here? There we go. Folks, Mario Strikers is one of the great multiplayer Mario games, almost at the same level as like Mario Kart or Smash Bros. This game is just so wacky and fun. I have memories in high school of playing the GameCube version till late in the night with my friends. Caleb has no action friends. And I can say with confidence this will make a fantastic addition to any viewer's collection. At 44 bucks, the price is all right given that it came out fairly recently. I'm gonna do a little bit more looking around though in the M's and ooh, maybe in the S's. Looking for super, super, super. Okay, the uh, very loosely alphabetical here. Sports Party. Uh, SpongeBob. It looks like there aren't any Super Mario. To okay, Super Monkey Ball. I honestly can't believe of all the games here, they have a total of one complete Mario Switch game. That's wild. My mustache brother, you are proving more elusive than I originally thought. Shut up, you ugly man! I did find a few more Switch games up in the glass case here, but alas, still no Mario's and a little bit strange. Don't know why Assassin's Creed made it in here. <laughs> If you are still looking to sell those other ones, I could make you an offer on them. If that's okay, Shina. No, no, no. Okay. Totally 
cool. Don't want to snipe your business or anything. Streets of Red. 15 a piece. Sound fair? Sounds like a deal. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, folks. I just had the craziest experience in there. I had to rush to make sure that my camera was on, but I just bought three limited run Switch games from another store customer. Let me fill you guys in. Okay, so I was in line to check out, right? And I noticed that the guy in front of me was trying to sell a stack of like eight Switch games, but there were a few of them, specifically these three that they couldn't actually take because they weren't ringing up in the system. And so right as he was wrapping up the transaction, I quickly fumbled around, turned the camera on and was like, hey, would you have any interest in just like selling them to me now for cash? And by the way, I wanna say, I normally would never do that. It's a very poor form to make offers on inventory, like in someone else's store. Like they're paying the overhead, it's their space. I would normally never do that. But I looked over at Shine who is the store manager, by the way, shout out to Shina. And I was just like, hey, since you guys can't buy these, do you mind if I make an offer? And she gave me the okay. No, no, okay, totally. cool. Don't want to snipe your business or anything. I didn't recognize any of these games. I couldn't look up the value, but I know that it's unlikely they'd be worth less than like 30 bucks a piece. So I said like, is 15 a piece okay? Most of the other ones had gone for like 10 a piece. And he said, sure. So we're just going to go ahead and look them up now. Okay, so the first one here, Eldest Souls on Amazon. Yeah, pretty much what I thought. Looks like 35 bucks before fees or 25 after fees. Second one, Streets of Red, which I've also never heard of, ooh, is even more expensive. In new condition, 55 bucks or 41 after fees. Probably a little bit less for used condition, but still. <laughs> oh my gosh, folks, the last one here, Knights and Bikes is the best one. In new condition, $80 normally or 62 after fees. Probably a bit less for used, but holy cow. Now, folks, the legalist rule follower in me wants to say, these aren't Mario games. These don't count towards the challenge. Just forget about them. But something in me says, you guys wouldn't mind if I actually added these two the giveaway pile. And let's not forget, we also came away with Mario Strikers, leaves us with a remaining budget of 350 bucks. And folks, if you're wondering how to qualify for the giveaways of everything that we find today, we're gonna be doing it all live in our next Whatnot auction, Wednesday, April 12th. During that show, we'll also be selling a bunch of awesome high-end sealed PS4 stuff if you're into that kind of thing. And if you've never used Whatnot before, definitely download it with the link in the description because it'll give you 15 bucks free credit to spend on whatever the heck you want. And we're also going to be selling a bunch of custom mission switch, switch game cases, and some super cute plushies, which will be live now, actually, now that I think about it. So you guys can go check it out at the link below. Again, thanks a bunch to Whatnot for sponsoring this video and for making all of these giveaways possible. Right now, I'm heading into Best Buy. I wasn't going to do this so early on in the challenge, but I'm just curious whether we can maybe find some sort of Mario game in the like $30 to $40 range. <music> Folks, this is the section that I'm talking about, the Switch games, although they've got this super weird system. For some reason, none of the games are actually in here. There's all just these like weird paper in plastic displays, like, <laughs> like dang, thank goodness our uh, pieces of paper that represent our games are nice and secure. This is actually kind of promising though. 40 bucks for Luigi's Mansion 3 is pretty decent. Okay, looks like Mario Strikers, which we just got, is still 60, so that was definitely a good buy. We've got Pokemon, then what over here? We we got Fire Emblem, Zelda, Super Smash Bros, which maybe this is controversial, but I didn't count as a Mario game because it doesn't have Mario in the title. And folks, I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but it doesn't look like they have a single other Mario game here. I had no idea that this challenge would be difficult, like even with retail stores. Oh, folks, I stand corrected. We've got a full dedicated Mario display here. Oh man, yes. Oh folks, it looks like we do indeed have here my favorite Mario game of all time, Super Mario Odyssey. And folks, the reason that this excites me so much, even as a grown man, is this is the very first Switch game I ever Jeez, this is the very first Switch game I ever played on the Nintendo Switch. This is probably most responsible for making me actually fall in love with the console like three years or so ago. Everything about that game, from the movement to the level design to the levels just looking absolutely gorgeous, just absolutely reminded me why, what made me love video games in the first place, like as a kid. At the time, it had been like six years since I had seriously played any game outside of like Smash Bros. And so suffice to say, this this game just, it holds a special place in my heart. And even better, look at this folks, 40 bucks for brand new? I mean, what is the price of rediscovering childhood joy? Am I right? 
probably at least like 46 bucks. So I think this is a great deal. And also the only other Mario game here, Mario Golf Super Rush, 40 bucks is okay. We'll probably pick that one up too. So folks, I got up to the checkout and after like 10 minutes of waiting, they were like, yeah, actually we don't have the Mario Golf. And I was like, well, thank goodness for the paper security system. But anyways, Crossing Mario Odyssey, the greatest Mario game of all time off the list for 40 bucks is still a win. And actually right next door, almost next door, is good old GameStop. So with the $310 that we have left in the budget, I'm just gonna stroll on over there and see what kind of stuff they have. And as I do, folks, I do want to let you in. I've been teasing something for Mission Switch on the channel for a while now. This, of course, isn't a Mission Switch episode because I'm giving everything away. But folks, it is finally time to share with you the biggest Mission Switch announcement since the series began. <sighs> folks, even though this technically isn't a Mission Switch video, this is a huge day in the Mission Switch series. For those of you who don't know, these 61 Switch games behind me, I've collected over time spending no money out of pocket using only video game flip money. Longtime viewers of the channel may remember the GameCube Gambit, a series that I did very similar to this one, but with GameCube games. Actually, a chunk of that collection I have over on the other side of the TV. And throughout this whole series, I've been trying to capture a similar feeling that I had during the GameCube Gambit, the satisfaction of finding a game that I've been been wanting for a long time and I've realized that Mission Switch is almost there but not quite. It hasn't been quite as satisfying and I think I know the reason. Since the beginning of this series, my goal has been to get any 250 Switch games in my collection in order to complete it. But I've realized I kind of miss having a set list of games that I'm hunting for that I've decided ahead of time I want because they mean something specific to me. And so it's in the spirit of that kind of hunting that I am very proud to introduce you guys to my brand new 100 game Switch list. This thing literally took me 10 hours to put together. Don't ask me how. Folks, out of the thousand plus physical games that have been released on the Switch in the last five years, these are the 100 games that I want most in my personal collection. And this is going to be my primary collecting goal from here on out in the challenge. And the great thing about starting a list like this, this late into the game, is that we've already got multiple games that were on my list. I've already been able to cross off Breath of the Wild and Luigi's Mansion and Cuphead in a total of 21 games from our 100 game list, leaving us with 79 still to hunt for. Folks, I seriously can't even tell you how excited I am for the feeling that I know crossing these games off one at a time is going to bring. But what I'm even more excited for are the six items on this grail board. Very fancy, by the way, grail board that I just created. But I've been blabbing on too long already, so I'm gonna talk about this in the next actual Mission Switch episode. I seriously cannot wait to show you guys. So yeah, folks, I could not be more stoked for what the rest of Mission Switch has for us with those 100 specific games we're going for. But in the meantime, let's see if we can just find 10 or 11 more Mario games in this GameStop. All right, so folks, this is the new section here. I'm gonna mostly be staying away from this because as you can see, a lot of them are still 60 bucks. Like, yeah, look at that Mario Golf, 60 bucks. This was 40 at Best Buy. 60, 30 on that one. But the used section, okay, dang it. Even pre-owned, this is more expensive here. Shoot. Ooh, and Rabbids, you would think that this is a decent deal at 35, but this game actually goes on sale new for 20 bucks all the time. This is actually kind of expensive. Ooh, here's one that is on our list. Unfortunately, still not complete. Paper Mario or a Gami King. Mixed reviews on that one for sure, but you know, it's a Mario game. The day is wearing on though, so we may eventually have to start being a little bit more okay with the incomplete stuff. Although, ooh, there's a great one that's on our list. With this game, there are literally like, you could put thousands of hours into this game and not get bored because of how many custom stages are available just online. Not to mention even like making stuff yourself. For 38, it's really not a bad deal, so I think we will go ahead and do this. As much as I hate to do it, I am seriously considering this Mario Golf though, because I just don't know if we'll find one cheaper given how tough Mario games have been to find today. Although I honestly kind of feel like it's still a better deal than Kingdom Battle, so I don't know. But oh folks, look what I just found down here. Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe for 40. Almost any new Mario game for 40 bucks is a pretty solid deal. I may just stick with these two and one of these other two. I'm honestly a little bit torn on which one to go with though. Every day is a Mario day. For some of us it is. 
There's no way his wife actually finds that mustache attractive. Now, folks, I know that I said I was going to get either Mario Golf or Rabbids at that last stop, but what can I say? I went a little bit rogue. Because what did I spy on my way out but a $40 brand new Super Mario 3D World? Now, folks, you have to realize I never had a Wii U. So when I played this game for the first time, I had an absolute blast. Honestly, more than anything with Bowser's Fury, even more so than 3D World. I also will confess to you guys that last Christmas I tried to play Super Mario Bros U Deluxe with my family over Christmas because I was like oh it's a four player Mario game everyone knows how to play it's family friendly it'll be perfect it was not perfect because little did I realize it's almost impossible to play this game in four player mode without constantly accidentally pushing each other off the ledge and stealing each other's lives. Let's just say I recommend this game in one player mode. And I've got to say crossing three more games off of the Mario list feels amazing. The only downside is it does bring us down to $190. So let's just say we got to tighten our budget up a little bit. That's 190 bucks for eight games left on the list or around 20 bucks a piece. If I can somehow pull this off, I'm going to reward myself with guac on my Chipotle burrito tonight because as we all know, only the most successful people can afford that. For our next stop, we're going to our third game exchange of the day, which I'm especially stoked about because I've somehow never been to this one, even though it's basically in my backyard. It just wasn't showing up on maps. All right, folks, we're going to pivot a little bit here in our pursuit of cheap Switch games and go to this pawn shop first cash and see if even though it's tax return season, maybe they've just recently gotten a couple Mario Switch games in. So I went inside with hopes high, but sure enough, looked in the glass case and all they had was a single Diablo Switch game. Inventory in general was not that high. So I decided to go to another pawn shop down the road and the inventory situation was even worse. All they had was an Atari game and a few NBA 2K Switch games. So in one final last ditch attempt, I pulled over to the sketchiest pawn shop that I've probably ever seen on the side of the road, tried to get in and realized that the door was actually locked. But for some reason, after trying the door a couple times, a guy with the white beard came out from inside and said, hey, sorry, we're closed. What are you looking for? I said video games. And he said, ah, just come on in anyway. And this place, folks, is like poorly lit. There are lights flickering. Apparently they've had electricity issues. And so I made a beeline for the back corner where I saw the video games were. And sure enough, there was Switch there. Do you know how much uh, they had on this Super Smash Bros over here? Looks like they do have a few Switch games. Okay. 25. 20. Folks, I don't know what it is about this day that weird stuff just keeps happening. So I know that I said technically Smash Bros is not a Mario game, but I, they had no other Mario games in here. But I mean, he said he'd give it to me for 30 bucks and I just, I couldn't pass it up. It felt like it was kind of meant to be. Give me $30, we can have Oh, well, thank you. That's awesome. Mm, thank you. Plus, not to mention, I've put more hours into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate than any other Switch game. I have countless memories of hanging out with the bros in the basement playing this game. So to get it here at the sketchy pawn shop for $30, it just felt meant to be. So folks, we now have an even more sizable pile of Mario and Mario-ish games, but we're still missing eight of them at this point, and we're down to only 160 bucks. So we're pivoting a little bit again and heading into this store called Cardinal Gaming. It's a local video game store here in Louisville, and I'm hoping that they'll have a decent enough selection that we can come away with at least three more Mario games for the challenge. I swear Caleb's the only guy I know that can make a mustache look so good and so bad at the exact same time. Dang, check out all these little Pokemon plushies too. I never see ones like this, that's awesome. At this point, really the only thing that I'm nervous about is what I haven't told you guys, is I'm actually in town right now for a video game convention, the Louisville Arcade Expo. And I'm pretty sure these guys are going to be vending at it, so their inventory may be a little bit low, but on the bright side, I'm gonna have some sweet convention videos lined up for you guys in the next couple weeks here. Aw, oh, but folks, it looks like they do have some Switch stuff remaining. Let's see. Mario, Mario, Sonic. Anything? Shoot, I'm not. I don't think I'm seeing anything Mario here. Dang. Oh, but folks, a glass case has been spotted. There may still be hope. Yes, there is Switch games. Overcooked, Ring Fit, Cobra Kai, No No, Astral Escapist, Octopath. Got actually a pretty solid GameCube selection down here. Metroid. Oh, there's one, folks. I never thought that I'd be. <laughs> so thrilled to find Mario Tennis Aces of all things. But it keeps going. Look at this. Pokemon Sword. Yeah. 
Yes, Mario 3D All-Stars. Look at that 63 though. Oh, that's tough. Now I've got to say that's a little bit more than I was hoping to pay, but given that it's the most valuable game remaining on our list, I'm honestly okay with it. The only question left though is what to do with the remaining $70 in the budget, because right after this I have to go to the hotel and start getting prepped for the convention tomorrow. And folks, I gotta say I'm actually thinking about going a little bit rogue. So folks, our Mario challenge ended up being a bit more of an eclectic mix than I really expected. Hopefully you guys will forgive me for that. Can't wait to hang out with you on Wednesday. If you like Switch hunting videos like this one, check out this one right down here where I attempted to start my Switch collection with zero dollars and I'll catch you guys on the flip.